Welcome to Grown Does a Thing, where I show you how to do a thing. Today we're going to talk about admin only weapons. So for starters, you want to get any weapon that you want. This could be a bow, blunderbuss, anything you want, even explosive. For example, I'm just going to use a bow. Then you want to go to the gadgets page, go to game chips, second page, and grab a roll chip. Then you want to grab your configure tool from your maker pen, click on it, change it to whatever name you want. For simplicity, I'm going to use the name GG. Then from there, click edit roll. Now, this roll is going to be used for the admin only area. So what you want to do, you do pick up restrictions, set to none. And that's all you have to do for that roll. Then next what you want to do, you want to grab your configure tool again. If you have your room set to default, your roll should be directly in the center of the spawn. But if they're not here, go to your watch, go home, this room, settings, rolls, and then click everyone. From here, you want to set pickup restrictions to block tags. Then click can't pick up tags and set a tag that admins are able to pick up. For this example, I'm going to use SS. Now what this does, it does not let everyone pick up the SS labeled weapons. It only lets the admins pick them up, since they don't have any restrictions. Then to set up your admin only weapons, grab the weapon that you spawned in, and change the tag to the tag you set. In this case, it's SS. Now you will see here, I have not given myself the GG roll, meaning I cannot pick this up. Even if I have grabbable weapons on, still can't pick it up. In this example, I have a bow that is labeled SS, and another one that is labeled a bunch of letters. As you can see, I can pick up this one because it's not labeled SS. Now to actually set up the admin role, go to gadgets, game chips, second page, and get a role mapper chip. Now before we get to the role mapping, these buttons are set up like this. Go to your palette, go to props, dynamic, and get a button. Grab your configure tool, click on it, and set send player as signal output on. What this will do is if someone presses it, it will output the ID of that player. Since I'm the first player, it'll output a one. Then what you want to do once you have that button set up, click configure on your role mapper chip and make sure that it has the player role set up to GG or whatever you named your role. Then click add player role. Then you want to wire when button is pressed to player. When you press the button, you will receive that role. In our example earlier, this is labeled SS and now I can pick it up. Now, if you clone your role mapper chip and set it to a remove roll, GG, and wire it up, you will see that I'm still not able to pick this up. This simulates the regular players. With the roll, it simulates having it. Now, if you want to have the roll set up so co-owners have admin already, go to your watch, go home, this room, settings, permissions, then click co-owner. From there, you want to go to misc and then auto assign game rules. Click edit, then add the same role that you have here, your admin role. Now what this will do, if you are a co-owner, you will be able to pick up the weapons regardless. Now since I'm not a co-owner, but rather a creator, I can assign my role. And now I am able to pick everything up. But if I remove it, still can't pick things up. Keep that in mind. If a co-owner or admin that has a misc role set up removes their own role, they have to get the role back. That's all for now. Remember, give it your rec room best.